Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ministry. As you can see, this sector we did not um, capture in a video. This was streamed live. We did some stuff like separators for getting a little bit of titanium on sectors where it's otherwise not possible. And I forgot to place the F. <coughs> but yeah, um, here's a quick um, thingamabob of everything we did. Oh, there, there. Okay, I found it. The four pixels of oil. 100%, but a little low. These are all max efficiency. Yes. Let's take it. Bring it to Whoop. Plistanium unlocked. Right? Yes, a full conveyor. Perfect. Yeah, I don't watch football at all. Let's test it. Has anyone in the stream ever heard of the game Astroneer, by the way? Interesting. And now that you're back, let me quickly show you all the sectors we captured. We captured number two. We captured number one. Great. Hundred three. Forty three. Okay, a sector. Big F. Two hundred forty five. Flares are just chaos. Twenty seven. Okay, they destroyed a total of one and just moved on. There is 274, where we might make a big silicon facility soon. Okay. And, um, and 42. Okay. How effective it is in the world, but anyway, as those enemies are the F. We also captured 251. Yes. For oh, so many. Oh, look. The problem here is um, enemies have attacked again as there is a threat high enemy base nearby. And threat high enemy bases are pretty dang annoying. I also noticed I have. No silicon on the sector. How? Why? Oh, because of this. We probably had negative production. Ah, come on, that's bad. Mm. So, anyways, I want to launch to either overgrowth, salt flats, or tar fields, or extraction outposts now. And if we look at our research, by the way, we also got a bit of plastanium. Let's invest that in the swarmer, because that's a good turret. Or we can get the cyclone next. Cyclone is really good. Um, we need this thing to capture more of the planet. And that's extraction outpost. So extraction outpost has to be our next target. Nuclear production complex we just unlocked. Okay. Um, I know there's a tier 5 boss there though. I'm not gonna go there now. I'm scared of that. <laughs> Rightfully so, I must say. Um, so where was it? Extraction outpost, threat high and enemy base. Will be quite a challenge, but I think, I'm pretty sure, we're going to make it. Let's launch. And by the way, we also found out on stream that using a drill next to the core just generates a field of um, copper. 
So that's cool. So that our little mining drones don't have to fly so far. Oh, we also saw how the enemy core dropped. That's pretty nice. Which resources do we have? No new ones. Um, uh, with the thing with new resources, we tried to get the new resource, but it... We just didn't find it. That's a problem. Here, this launchpad. This is the cool thing. And why is it destination windswept islands? Weird. Anyways, let's look at the space. Okay, this stuff I should be able to easily destroy. As well as all of this. The anti-air can be outranged. They can also just go around here with some horizon bombers. And that's the core. So basically, only a few fuses there which protect the only core on this map. Um, I think I'm going to try to do a direct attack with Horizon Bombers as my first um, attack plan. If that fails, I can still change up my attack plan. Um, where do we want our enemies to go through so that we can kill them? Let's say right here. I guess that's a good spot. Oh, actually, that, here's water. Enemies will not go through water. Even if you wall off the other entrances, we also found out on streams. So let's not do it like this. Let's wall this off. And I should also start producing my units rather sooner than later. So let me quickly... Um, Place that down. Where is the thing I am searching? Unloader. Okay. I just need two of those because flares only need silicon, and then the other thing will only need graphite to be added. Additive reconstructor. Everything in there, please. And then command center. Where is it? Right here. Now the only thing that's missing is power, which I will gain from this over here. Actually, is there coal down there? Yes, I am going to um, get my power from not combustion generators, but the better ones, uh, steam generators, because that's just smarter. Let's make it go along here, then just place a few routers. Two steam generators should be more than enough. Then just place some pumps, place a big battery back here, connect it, take the power to base. Over here, up here. Let's set this to rally and continue on building the defense. Um, let's make them go this way. So a wall all the way over here. I'm still a bit panicky because this is our first threat high enemy base. We're probably going to see some tier 3 action. Tier 3s were only bosses r until now. Well, except with the exception of um, the islands, because there we had some tier 3s appear normally, but only a few of them. Forgot to funnel in silicon over there. Come on, this guy doesn't stand a chance. I said, oh, that's annoying. Now my blueprint has been cleared. <sighs> I need to reselect all of those. It's fine. And then just a long line where the enemy will be shot from. 
Oh no, I just realized something pretty stupid. This wall is stupid. Because we want to be able to place our turrets. So, um... I'll have to replace the walls over here. Just put them there. And then walls to here. As soon as I hit, I don't know, let's say, no, let's do the full 60 Horizon Bombers and then we'll do our first attack. This is taking way too long. I should have probably built some support units. But I didn't. <coughs> so here we are. Oh, come on. Stop. No, no, no. Die. I'm stronger than you. Nice. Oh. That's in ripple range. Oh my gosh, the ripple range is big. Oh. Okay. I have to get rid of those turrets first. That shouldn't be too hard, though. Yeah, let's uh, make a few flares too. Can I? No, that's fine. Those flares will be used to destroy the ripples. I guess I'm going to place walls over here. <sighs> okay, next wave two enemies this time. Oh, come on, Rippers. That's a bit too much. That's not fair. I can't close my walls like this. I'll have to um, massacre the rippers. Oh, look. A unit we haven't seen before in the campaign. At least not on the video, but on stream. That was a Nova. It shoots bullets which repair things of its own team. But also damage my stuff and they also have a healing field they can release periodically to heal their um, comrades let's see can we easily destroy the space now that I'm looking at it the fuses will probably two shot my horizon bombers but it's worth a try let's see We did no damage, basically. Right? Let me look at it, but I'm pretty sure we did pretty much nothing. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, we did, we did some damage. Hmm. Interesting. If I destroy the solar panels, those pull-in things won't have any power, and then I can just use normal air units. But it will be rebuilt way too quickly. Oh. I guess first of all let's get rid of those ripples. Flares. And now it's time to kill some ripples. What's the range of this? I don't know. I just have to hope that I don't get too close. And I don't know where my enemies just went. They died somehow. Oh, don't get that close. 
The tractor beam will destroy my flares. Come on, just make the ripple die. Actually, you know what, let's destroy this wall and shoot the distributor. That's going to be way easier and way quicker. One and two. Great. Um, let's respawn in the core. I'm going to take the power line. And place some power base turrets up here. This ripple should be empty pretty soon. And what is my, that building drone? Oh no, it's not a building drone, it's a flare. Oh, so the enemy is going to send air units. Come on. Is the ripple empty? The ripple is empty. And there is an enemy. Oh, I, no, no way, the enemies died. They were probably crawlers and blew themselves up. Let's use lancers, I guess. That's probably overkill. But yeah, I think it's a good idea. Hey, did you just see how it launched and stuff? Oh, that's so cool. I want to do that too. <laughs> What's bigger, the range of a lancer or of a salvo? Lancer. So if I place here, the salvo won't reach it. Oh! Hmm, I didn't see those. Hails. Then I guess I'll have to counter with a ripple. And let's finish those walls finally. I think clearing the path is way more easy. By the way, this is one of the sectors which was being attacked by enemies. Um, yeah, I will just place some scorches right here, I think. Or maybe right here. And get this coal to put it in there. Like this, we just built over a stone. I don't know why stones exist as they do not serve a purpose anymore. They used to, but that was before I played. Um, they were a normal resource and they could be melted down into lava, like scrap can be now. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to have my units... Oh, actually, wait a second, is there a lot of anti-air right here? Not really. Only this up here. I'm going to destroy this anti-air and then I will have my flares and horizon bombers do a bit of damage to the enemy base, because I can. And I also need to ruin this stuff. And this up here for my tactic to work. How far can the hail shoot? Okay. Then I'll move it to here. That's out of hail range. Perfect. Come on, let's build it. Yes. Then one and two and three. And take that down here. I hope the enemies don't walk down there. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Okay, um, then this enemy will just be destroyed by lancers. Nice. I need to upgrade my power generation though. This won't be enough for much longer. 
let's make it more than double the size because I have minus 1k that's way too much in the negatives and I need more batteries my resources are looking fine though so that's good great I also just place down a few repair points Great, the Lancers have destroyed that stuff, so there's pretty much no anti-air left on the whole sector, actually. Ha! Huh. The enemy base is pretty small if you think about it. Let's just have this Elvo destroyed and, of course, the Hails too. So let's do this. And loader conveyor. Let's unload graphite. Yeah, I'm gonna use graphite. And then go into the horizons. Just take out a bit of graphite. That should be enough. Put it in the hails. And yeah. Let's respawn in the core. And we actually managed to kill those enemies, nice. I'll support that lens by placing them in the Where is the enemy building unit? Why isn't it repairing the... I think something weird just happened. Let me go to ground zero for a second and back to extraction outpost. Because there didn't... No builder unit spawned in for the enemy. I don't know if that's normal, please tell me in the comments if it is. But that just seems really weird. Like normally there's a unit flying around building new stuff and rebuilding stuff. Hmm. Strange. That makes the sector easier, I guess. I don't want that, but that's just how it's going to be. Maybe the sector was also left behind. Maybe this is intentional. I don't know. Let's see if I can get rid of those hails. Actually, destroying the graphite production is enough because then I can just empty them out by spamming conveyors like this. Now they will just be emptied out. As soon as they are empty, I can place some lances. Actually, I don't need that. Let's start the air raid. Attack. The enemy only spawned in two daggers. They can't do anything against this. Nice. So yeah, um, that part of the base will be eradicated. Even though I would have liked to keep those launch terminals. It's just better this way. I can snipe the core using basic grounds units. I'll do that. I just noticed it. I only need some powerful ground units. So let's produce a couple of tier 1 Novas and let's make them be stuck inside their starting location so they do not go and attack. I need quite a lot of them actually, I think. No I don't, but I want this to go, to go a bit faster as the episode is already going on for so long. So let's break those doors, place a couple more Nova generators. Yeah, I'm going to call Ground Factories Nova generators now. Mm, let's move this stuff up here though.
units are being rebuilt as I it seems like um, my bombers and planes mostly died because of the core but I did enough damage so that I can move in with my ground units now they have served their purpose or whatever um, let's take this out from this Nova generator and perfect Nova Nova as soon as I have a good amount of them produced let's say by wave 12 I will decimate this space as the range of a fuse is quite small I could probably even do it with um, flares as soon as the last, as soon as this large power node over here is gone. But um, it's cool moving in with ground units, so that's what I'll do. I only have three though. How much can they command? Let me see. Mm, Nova. They can command 8. So 9 and then I will invade. Because 1 for me and 8 which I will command. Let's um, make this a quick little destruction time lapse until I have achieved the Nova goal. By the way, pretty cool how my units actually focus the enemy. The bombers bombing them and the flares shooting them. Okay, I have a feeling that's enough time. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. Let's move in. Come on, boys. Alright. Um, not only do these units have repair shields, like they can repair damaged ally units periodically. They have this weird bubble that pops up. But um, they can also fly. Flying makes them susceptible to air units, but um, that's not that big of a problem as it makes them susceptible to enter air, but you can just land. <clears throat> bye bye last launch pad. And now the enemy base is gone. Can we do it before wave 12? Probably not, but that's not a problem. Power is down. Hello enemies, sorry you spawned in and immediately died. Oh wait a second. No! Hey, unfair. That was stupid. I lost so many of my ground units. Why? This one little tier 2 dagger, I forgot how they are called. Mace just killed 8 tier 1 um, Nova units, which is weird and unfair, I feel like. There you see, the tractor beam pulling me in because I was a, technically an air unit. Yeah. I could directly snipe the core from here. Let's destroy that fuse first though, because uh, that way our air units can help as well. Yeah. The bombers seem to target the solar panels, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there are, few, there are fuses down there too, don't go there, please. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much game over for the enemy now. And... Bye. Bye. In three, two, one more bomber died, one more flare died, and the explosion killed one more. But yeah. 
That is Extraction Outpost, right? Yeah, Extraction Outpost secured. Let's place the symbol for Captured Story Sector that I chose in the live stream and place the legendary F. Right here. Uh, sorry guys, could you please move out of the way? They can also build, by the way. Um, let's stop this so that we do not use up any more resources. Let's also cut the power supply to all of the unit generators. Factories would be the correct name. And see what we can research for the end of this episode. First of all, we could get the silicon crucible because of the Plastanium, we could also get the battery diode, but that's not as useful. But it's only 100 plastanium. Um, but I want the cyclone. Cyclone is the second strongest uh, turret right after Swarmer. Why? Because um, they are broken. They use uh, Surge Alloy, which is the strongest and most expensive material as ammo. And if you overdrive them and then spray water on the enemies, they have no chance. Because electricity plus water deals some damage. And now let's unlock the launch pad. Perfect. Launch pad. Everything is fine now. Because we can just place down a launch pad. Like right here. Say. Um, next to the drill. Then we just need to... Give it some power. Right? How much power does it take? 240, so quite a lot actually. But we can just give power to it. And then say, okay, um, I want to export to ground zero. And I don't know, take out some graphite. And as soon as this thing has enough items, it will launch, wait a second, you'll see it, bam, and launch. And now if I delete this again and go to ground zero, you will see I have 99 graphite. I don't know why I launched 99, but <laughs> export, I need to stay on here for a little longer so that the export number goes away though. Let's just break the launch pad and replace the drill but yeah that was pretty much another episode of minus tree now we can way more easily capture sectors as we can send in back up from other sectors um, that will also make the capturing live streams way more e way easier because I can just mass produce stuff without producing stuff and yeah have a great day night evening whatever Check out the Discord, like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. And goodbye. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. I love launch pads.